Before the 19th century, a corporation was created by a royal charter. The British East India Company, for example, was formed in 1600 under a charter from Queen Elizabeth I. This company held vast trading privileges. It even governed territories, colonized, and raised its own armies. The owners of the company hid behind a corporate veil. Now corporations are formed under an act of parliament. Corporations are artificial legal entities. It is treated as a separate entity from the people who own or run it. It can enter contracts, sue or be sued, own property, and crucially, it has its own liabilities, separate from the shareholders and directors who control it. So if the company gets into debt or is sued, the owners, called shareholders, aren't personally liable. This is because the corporation has limited liability. This idea was made famous in the case of Salomon versus Salomon in 1897, where the UK House of Lords confirmed that even a one-person company, like Salomon's, was a separate legal entity. So when the company collapsed, Salomon himself was not personally liable for the company's debts beyond his investment in the shares. When a company is intentionally left with too little money to cover its debts, or it commits fraud, or when a company's assets are for personal use, then a court can pierce the corporate veil and find the owners liable. A court might also treat a subsidiary as a single entity if it has no real independence and is merely an extension of the parent company's activities. Courts don't pierce the corporate veil lightly. It is only done in extreme cases where the company is clearly being used for dishonest or improper purposes. Otherwise, corporations enjoy the powerful protections of limited liability and separate legal personality, which are designed to shield the shareholders' identity and protect them from liability. 